morning students welcome back to maths online class in the last class we learned about types of cell can you remember today's problems are based on this definition so we can revise once again subset what is meant by subset let a and b be two cells if every element of A is also an element of B, then A is called the subset of B. We write A is the subset of B. Next one, power set. The set of all subsets of a set A is called the power set of A. It is denoted by P of A. Next one, already we learned two formulas. First one, if n of a is equal to m, then n of p of a is equal to 2 power m. Number of subset is equal to 2 power m. And second one, the number of proper subset of a set a is n of p of a minus 1. Number of subset minus 1. That means 2 power m minus 1. Next we are going to see exercise 1.2 7th sum. If a is equal to set of a comma set of a comma b. Write all the subsets of a. Here set a two elements are given. What are the elements? A is one element, set of A comma B is another element. This is together one element. Okay. Then we have to find out the subsets of A. Then solution. Subsets. Subsets of A are. What are the subsets? Every set has one null set. Isn't it? So first we can write null set. Then this is one of the subset. Next one set of A. Then next one set of next element. Next element is set of A comma B. Okay. So set of A comma B. Then given set also we have to write. Given set is a comma set of a comma b. Then close the set. Then again close. Already open this one close it. Then subset of a or null set. Then set a. Then set of a set of a comma b. Then given set. Whether it is correct or not, how we can check? Then number of subset, what's the formula? 2 power m, isn't it? Then 2 power m is equal to, here how many elements? N of A is 2 elements, isn't it? So, m is equal to number of elements. That means 2 power 2. Then equal to, 2 power 2 is 2 into 2. Then equal to? Four. Then four subsets we will get. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Suppose two elements are given means then four subsets we will get. Okay. Then eighth question. Write down the power set of the following sets. Third one and fourth one. Now you have to see. First two questions homework for you. Third one, D is equal to set of P, Q, R, S is given. Okay. Then find the power set of the following set. First we have to find the subset of the set D. Solution. D is equal to. D is equal to given set P, Q, R, S. Then what's the subset? Then subset 
the subsets of d or then what are the subsets here four elements are given then every set has one subset isn't it so what's the subset first one null set then comma then set of p set of q set of r set of s separately we have to write okay set of p then set of q and set of r and set of s then two two elements together we have to take then set of p comma q then set of p comma r then set of p comma s then next one then set of q r next one set of q s then r and s isn't it and set of r s then three three elements together you have to take three elements are then set of p q r okay then p p q s p q s then q r s q r s the next one p r s p r s then next given set also p q r s these are the subsets of d isn't it then how to find the power set or question is power set of the following sets okay then then the power set then the power set of d that means p of d isn't it then p of d is equal to set of all subsets set of all the subsets we have to write here then null set set of p set of q set of r and set of s and set of pq then set of pr then set of ps then set of qr then set of qs then set of rs the next one set of p q r then p q s next one q r s then p r s a given set is p q r s already here we open the uh, open the subset open the set then we have to close here next fourth sum e is equal to null set what's the subset of null set null set is the subset okay then e is equal to null set then subset also null set only so we can write the power set the power set of e that means p of e p of e is equal to set of subset is null set okay and set of pi is the answer therefore the answer is set of pi have you understood next question is exercise 1.2 ninth sum find the number of subsets and the number of proper subsets of the following sets first question is for your homework second one 
x equal to set of x square x belongs to n at x square less than or equal to 100 x square such that x belongs to capital N x value is capital N is natural numbers natural number starts with 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. Isn't it? Then here one condition is given x square less than or equal to up to 100. You have to check. Okay. Then solution x equal to first we have to find out the roster form. Write in the roster form. Okay. Then x square then x place we have to substitute 1. 1, 2, 3 etc. 1 substitute means what is the value you will get? 1 square is 1. Then 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. 4 square is 16. 5 square is 25. 6 square is 36. 7 square is 49. 8 square is 64. Then 9 square is 81 then 10 square is 100 100 also we have to take why means then x square less than or equal to equal to 100 so up to 100 we have to write have you understood here n of x is equal to n of x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 elements ok therefore m equal to 10 n of x equal to m isn't it therefore m is equal to 10 our question is find the number of subsets first we have to find number of subsets ok number of subsets what is the formula 2 power m isn't it then 2 power m 2 m value is 10 and equal to 2 10 times we have to write 1 2 2 into 2 into 2 2 into 2 the 2 into 2 into 2 into I understood then 2 2 is 4 4 2 is 8 8 2 is 16 16 into 2 is 32. Like that here also 32. It will come. Okay. So we have to multiply 32 into 32 is. Here 4. Then 6. And here 6 it will come. Okay. Then 2 3s are 6. 3 3s are 9. And 4. Here I added this to 12. Then 10. Okay, 1024 and equal to 1024. Number of subsets equal to 1024. Next one, number of proper subsets. Okay, then number of proper subsets is equal to what's the formula? 2 power m minus 1 then equal to 2 power m what's the value 1024 then minus 1 is equal to 1023 are you clear next question is 10th one first question for your homer second one if n of a is equal to 0 find n of p of a Third one, if n of p of a is equal to 256, find n of a. Okay, then solution. Given, second question is, given n of a is equal to 0. n of a is equal to 0 means then m equal to 0. Okay. Then you want to find out n of p of a. n of p of a. n of p of a means the number of subsets. Number of subset is equal to what is the formula? 2 power m. Isn't it? 
then equal to 2 power m value is 0. Any number power 0, what's the answer? Yes, very good. 1. Okay, the next one. This is second question. Third one. Here given n of p of a is equal to n of p of a is equal to 256. Then find n of a, number of sets, number of elements you should find out. Okay. Then n of p of a is equal to 256. The number of subsets is given. Then the number of subset, what is the formula? 2 power m is the formula. Okay. Then 2 power m is equal to 256. Are we clear? Then, so 256, how many 2's are available here? You should find. Okay. Then, how many 2's are here? You have to check. 1, 2 is true. Then, 2, 2's are 4. Then, 1 balance 16. 8 times. Then, again second table. Then, 12. How many 2's are available? Then, 6. Then, 4. Again, second table, 3, 2, then again, second table, 1 time, then 12, 16, then again, second table, then 8 times, 8 to 16, then again, second table, then 4 to 2 into 4 is what? 8, isn't it? Then, how many 2s are in 4? 2 to 4. Are we clear? Then how many 2's uh, we, uh, we got? 2 we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Isn't it? Therefore, 2 power m is equal to 2 power 8. 8 times we got. Okay? Therefore, here base are equal. Here 2 power m, here 2 power 8 is um, 8 we got. Isn't it? So, base are equal means then powers also equal. Okay, so we can write m equal to 8. Therefore, n of a is equal to n of a is equal to 8. Have you understood? Now I am going to give some formal problems. Exercise 1.2 8th question, first two subdivision. A ninth, first subdivision. Tenth, first subdivision. Okay, then 8th question, 2 question, then 9th, 1 question, 10, 1 question. Today itself we should complete. Okay. Next we are going to say set operations. First one, complement of a set. The complement of a set A is the set of all elements of U that are not in A. It is denoted by A dash or A complement. The complement of a set A is the set of all elements of universal set that are not in A. It is denoted by A dash or A complement. In simple we have to write A dash is equal to set of x such that x belongs to universal set but not in a values are you clear then x, x such that x belongs to universal set universal set that means all elements then x does not belongs to a okay then Venn diagram for complement of a set how to represent the Venn diagram okay then this is the universal set. Okay. This rectangle box is a universal set. Okay. This is A set. Then shaded portion is called A set. Shaded portion is A set. Okay. The next one. This is universal set. Then A set is given. Then A complement. A complement means except this A 
remaining universal set then this shared portion is called a complement shared portion is called the a complement or a dash okay for example if universal set is equal to all boys in a class and a is equal to a set is set of boys who play cricket then complement of a set a is a dash a dash is equal to then except this those who are play cricket remaining what boys do not play cricket boys who do not play cricket this is a complement okay then notice a complement the whole complement is a universal set the complement is equal to pi pi dash is equal to universal set or pi the complement pi is equal to universal set okay okay next one more example universal set is equal to set of natural numbers 1 2 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 numbers you have to take then a is equal to set of 3 4 5 6 and from here a complement we have to find okay then find the a complement or a dash then equal to uh, formula is universal set minus this a okay universal set minus this a or difference this a okay what are the universal set here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and minus this a set 3 4 5 6 okay then that means here a complement means except this a remaining universal sets 3 is in universal set isn't it so we have to cut this one 4 is in universal set is on cut it then 5 is in universal set then 6 also there okay remaining universal set is the a complement therefore a complement is 1 2 then remaining values 7 8 9 10 10 are you clear next one union of two sets union of two sets the union of two sets a and b is the set of all elements which are subsets in a or in b or in both it is denoted by a union b okay all elements which are the subsets in a elements or b elements b or in both it is denoted by a union b this represent union okay then in symbol a union b is equal to x such that x belongs to a or x belongs to b are you clear the union of two sets can be represented by venn diagram okay then venn diagram this is a set b set then this is the universal set rectangle box is universal set okay then a union b is a and b portion together we have to shape okay then a union b that means here shaded portion is called a union b okay then example if p is equal to asia and africa then and q is equal to india and south america okay then p union q is equal to this two also together we have to write that means then asia comma africa then india and south america okay 
Then one more example also. Suppose here a is equal to one set is given. Here three, four, five, six is given. Then b is equal to another set. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Then a is equal to set of this elements. Then b is equal to set of this elements. Here a union b. How we can find a union b? Then three is a set alone given, isn't it? That three we have to write. Then four also. Then five and six in both also available. Okay, both also given. So then five and six. One time you should write it. Don't repeat. Okay. Then remaining b values. Seven, eight. Have you understood this one? And the definition is subsets in A or in B or in both. Okay, it is denoted by A union B. Have you understood? Then one uh, one note is given. A union A is equal to A only. Okay. Then A union pi is equal to a. A union universal set is universal set. Okay. Then A union B is equal to B union A. Both also equal value only it will come. Uh, suppose here B first if we uh, give it also then shared a portion same portion only it will come. Okay. Next one. Intersection of two sets. The intersection of two sets a and B is the subset of all elements common to both A and B. It is denoted by A intersection B. Symbol is A intersection B. Okay. Then the intersection of two sets A and B is the set of all elements. Then common to both elements A and B. It is denoted by A intersection B. In symbol, A intersection B is equal to set of X such that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. Both also it is available. Okay. Both also common. So, you can write A intersection B is equal to X such that set of X such that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. Okay. Then, intersection of two sets can be represented by a Venn diagram. Okay. Then, this is A set. This is B set. This is universal set. Okay. Here, both common places. This is A set. This one, B set. Isn't it? Common places. Common portion is this one. Okay. This shaded portion is called what? A intersection B. Then, for example, if a is equal to set of m comma n and b is equal to a comma m k then find a intersection b then solution is a intersection b is equal to a set you should write it then intersection b set both which is common very good then m is common isn't it so set of m is the answer okay then A intersection B, what's the answer? Set of M is the answer. The problems related to this definition, we will see in the next class. Okay. Thank you students.